Well, hello again. It's Thursday, the 18th of April, and we're going to do another Telegraph Cryptic Crossword. Uh, this will be the last one I'll do for the week. I'll save Fridays for live the live show on um, Sunday, which is happening at 8 o'clock. So if you're around, it'll be great to have you join. Um, so, as if you've not seen these videos before, basically I go clue by clue through the Cryptic Crossword of the Daily Telegraph. Um, just explaining my thinking and giving me some tips along the way to help you in your solving journey as well. Um, I know from feedback I'm getting, some of you have started, you know, already quite experienced maybe at the Cryptic Crosswords and other ones are just starting their journey. So hopefully everyone's getting something out of the videos. Um, I am anyway, I'm really enjoying it. Um, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Um, the first thing I would say, if you're new to Cryptic Crosswords, I say this to everyone on every video. Um, first thing is, don't read the, the sentence of the clue and try and make sense of it, because usually it's just some sort of coded wordplay thing going on. Um, so it's better to take it word by word, trying to identify um, the parts of the clue, which I'll come on to now, and then um, you can have a better chance of solving it from there. So, cryptic crossword clues basically are two clues in one. You have a definition clue that's a bit like uh, what you would get in a normal crossword, so an indication of the word that you're looking for. And then you'll have some sort of wordplay clue as well, which is made up of the rest of the, the clue um, and can involve like maybe anagrams or reversals of words or hidden words, that type of thing. I'll, I'll talk about it more as we go through the crossword. Um, the other thing to note is that the definition is either at the beginning or the end of the clue. So you'll hear me talking about that a lot. You know, the definition will either be the first couple of words of the clue or the last word of the clue. And if we can identify the wordplay, then you know where the definition is and it can help you maybe make a guess on the on the answer as well. So let's get cracking and uh, see how we get on today. Um, okay, one across. Complain giving part of log for woodwork. Um, now one thing I would say, sometimes you get between the definition and the word play, you get a link. Um, and for is one of those link words. It, it's not every time, but it's, it's a good thing to think of maybe that it's, a um, it's basically everything after the for is usually the definition. Um, and then before the definition is the word play. Um, so. If the definition is would work, I mean, just from nine letters, I'm thinking this could be carpentry. It's woodwork, isn't it? Um, and thinking about the wordplay now as well, I think carpentry is right because we have, I'll write it in, I'll write it in to start with and then we'll see how we can make it make it work. So in the wordplay here, um, this type of clue is basically called a charade clue where you've got two, you're building the word carpentry from from the wordplay itself, parts of the wordplay. So we have complain, and that's carp, if you can see there. And then that's given part of um, part of log. So part of a log would be an entry. You make an entry in a log, don't you? So put them together, we get carpentry, meaning uh, woodwork. Okay, good. I like it when we get the first one out of the way. Okay, let's try one down now. Anglicans receiving fine for illegal substance. So again, there's that for, which could mean that illegal substance is the is the definition. So Anglicans receiving fine is the wordplay. Um, now what you get is part of wordplay. If you've not come across many cryptic crosswords before, a lot of the time the the crossword setter is looking for either you know short synonyms of words or abbreviations of words. Now, Anglicans could be seen as Church of England, and that's very often um, abbreviated to CE. And it, it's receiving um, fine, and it's given us the word for illegal substance. Um, an illegal substance is given a C, I can think of as Coke. So I think this is Coke because we've got the CE of um, Anglicans, like Church of England, and then inside is as in it's receiving fine fine is okay so that's that's and that gives us coke does that make sense hopefully it does um like i say all the time these words you know we, when you get these words ending in ing are they called gerunds i don't know if it's a geron specifically but a, a verb ending in ing that tends to indicate the wordplay 
you know, it's usually something happening to something. So if you read it like whatever comes before the Gerund, um, is this is happening to it. You know, so fine is um, Anglicans is receiving fine. So Anglicans is absorbing fine or taking fine in. Cool. Let's try two down. What priest may dawn or robe tucking into caviar? Um, so this clue has got a question mark. Now sometimes question marks mean nothing. Sometimes they mean this is an example of something. Um, what priest may dawn or bishop tucking into caviar? So this is, the, the clue here is almost splitting itself. You know, this could be the definition, what priest may dawn. And then this is looking likely to be the wordplay because, of, again, there's another one of those like ing words, tucking. So if we think of bishop tucking into caviar. Um, bishop is very often abbreviated to a B. And it's tucking into caviar. A word for caviar is row. So if we put a B inside row, we get robe, which is something um, a priest may don. Nice. Okay, let's try three down. Upset setter needs support and hug. So this is a down clue. So when you see words like upset, that tends to mean a word has been reversed somewhere. So I think this is indicating that the word play is in this part of the clue. Um, and it probably means hug. So and in this case is another link. So for is a common link word. And is a common link word. Um, from is another common link word and that anything before from is usually the definition. So when you see setter, this is the actual crossword setter usually. Sometimes it means a dog, but in this case, I think this is the actual crossword compiler themselves. So when they're referring to themselves, they usually you need you to use the word me or mine or my or something. So I can see it's upset setter. So it's me backwards, I think, because we have the E already here. And then we need a word for, this needs a support. It needs a word for um, a support that will make us a word that means hug. So think of a word that means hug, beginning with E-M. I can think of embrace. And, and, oh, an embrace is a, is a hug, isn't it? And a brace is, is um, a support as well. Okay. Nine across is looking like kebab. Just from looking at it. Um, let's see if it is. So we could dish starter from berry in bake off. So I'll go through the wordplay. I think it says kebab and I'll go through the wordplay now and explain why. Um, when you see things like starter or initial or things like that, that basically means take the first letter of the word it's referring to. So we're taking the starter from berry. We're taking a B and that's in bake off. Now what does bake off mean? Well, off very often is an anagram indicator. So it basically indicates that the, you know, whatever whatever is off is being made an anagram of. In this case, bake. So we have, a, we have an anagram of bake with another B in there. If you see bake here, look, B-A-K-E, and then a B inside, we get kebab. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're making a good start today so far. Four down, tip of tool, item used fencing in American's home. Um, tip of two, item used fencing in American's home. How would you read that clue? Let's not read it in any way, shape or form, and just take it word by word and see if we can make some sense to see if we can find out where the, the definition is. Um, tip of two is indicating maybe a T. We see a T here. Um, item used fencing in American's home. I wonder if this is referring to like a sword in fencing, something used in fencing. And it gives us an American's home. I'm thinking of an epi, so this could be a TP. That's an, Ameri like an American's home, isn't it? It's definitely a home. Um, so we have the tip of we have a tip of two and then item used item used fencing. Yeah, I think that's right. I'm not I'm not sure what the scent I mean are they missing an in there? Item used in fencing? Hmm. 
but I think it's uh it's definitely TP from what I can see there. Right, let's try five down. Delay for a drunk getting large amount of alcohol. That's a nice clue. So when you see drunk in a in a crossword clue, it's pretty much always an anagram indicator. Um so I think this is an anagram. And uh, there's six nine letters here in this uh we're needing. And I can see delay for a has got nine letters in it. So getting is basically a link word. So we're saying this is the wordplay, delay for a, and that's drunk, as in make an anagram. And that's going to make a, mean a large amount of alcohol. So I think this is yard of ale. I would say. Um... You could read it another way, maybe if they were trying to disguise the crossword compiler is always trying to disguise the clue, so you could sometimes read it for you know there's that four in this case it's not a a, a link word because look at the the definition would be a drunk getting large amount of alcohol that doesn't make sense um what we have here drunk getting large that can sometimes mean like a word for drunk with an l in it, but I think we're right in what we got here, so we've got delay for a. It's definitely yard of eels you can make from that. And uh gives us a amount of alcohol. A large amount of alcohol. Cool. I've never done a yard of ale. Seen people do it. I don't know how it's possible. <laughs> um Nice. Okay. Well we try ten across then. Theatre backing erstwhile actor say. So here's another tip. When when you see say in a cryptic crossword, it basically means a word before is maybe an example of something. Um, and that's probably the definition as well. So I would say actor say is the definition and if the wordplay is theatre backing erstwhile. Um, I can see, I mean, looking at this, I can see performer. So how does that work in the wordplay? So theatre backing this implies backing is given implying reversing. So a theater would be a rep, and that's backwards, given as P E R. And then erstwhile, another word for erstwhile is former. And put it together, we get performer, actor. Does that makes sense. So and it's not like it's not a strict definition of actor, is it? But it's an actor comes into the set, the sub, the set of of um, performers, doesn't he, or he or she, right? Um, will we try six down? Labour leader Michael smiles occasionally in flirtatious activity. Um, so there's a word here that's given me wordplay indication, which is occasionally. This basically means, you know, take alternate letters of a word. So in this case, it's saying smiles occasionally. So it's probably S-I-E or it could be M-L-S. Um, and in flirtatious activity, I think will be the definition. So we need labor leader Michael. So labor leader could be an L. Michael, I'm not sure. Unless they're referring to Michael Foote, the old labor leader from the early eighties. Oh yeah, I think that's what it is. Because if you think, if you put Michael Foote in here. And then you have the S I E of the of the smiles alternate letters. We get footsie, which is a flirtatious activity. Nice. That's quite a nice clue. I like that one. Um Right, let's try six across. Like McDonald's food, son doesn't eat. Hmm. So where do you think where do you think the definition is here? I don't see you know, not, not necessarily a, an anagram indicators or anything like that. Um, the only word is given me wordplay would be son. It's very often abbreviated to an S. So this could be a double definition type thing. So not double, not double definition, but a charade. I meant a charade. So we got we got an F here. I'm thinking McDonald's food is fast, isn't it? And if we add the the sun to the end of fast, we get fasts, which means doesn't eat. You see, so the definition here was at the end of the clue. Yeah. Hope that hope that's making sense. Um. Let's 
try seven down. Possible reason for booking limo. Aunt is traveling. Um, so if you see how they've written this clue, they want you to sort of think of possible reason for booking limo. And then Aunt is traveling separately, just to mess with your head. Um, I would say traveling is a big anagram indicator here. You know, those letters are traveling, so they're moving around. Um, so I think the, the definition here is possible reason for booking. And then limo aunt is, is the anagram. So we've got, I like it when I see T-I-O-N, I'm pretty sure it's going to be T-I-O-N at the end. Simulation, is it? Simulation. Now, why would that be possible reason for booking? Oh, this is football related. So simulation is another word for dive. And when a footballer dives in football, you can get booked for that now. Although I don't see people getting booked often enough for that. Um, yeah, so that's an, it's definitely an anagram of ant, limo and is. And as you can see again, the definition was at the beginning of the clue that time. And then the rest was wordplay. And four was a red herring. It wasn't anything to do with uh, linking that time. Um, nice. Okay, eight down. Dali say certainly entertains king and top celebs. So what do you think is happening here? Again, we got that say. That means probably Dali is an example of what it is we're looking for, maybe. And then we have words like entertains. So I would say. A word for certainly is entertaining king. A king is often um, abbreviated to an R or it could be CR for Charles or, you know, it can be quite a few things, GR even. But let's say it's R. It's more commonly R, especially in the Telegraph anyway. And then on top celeb. So I think here is the wordplay and we're looking for a way you could potentially describe Dali. Now he's a surrealist, isn't he? And we got the S and the R already, so this is looking. This is looking like a surrealist. So let's look at the wordplay and see how that works. The word for certainly is sure. That is S U R E here. And that's entertaining, as in it has within it King, which is the R. That's been abbreviated to R, but King. And top celebs are A list, aren't they? So we have A list here. So surrealist. So I've seen that a few times in the Telegraph. It describes celebs as A-list or B-list. So bear that in mind if you do this yourself as well. Right, 11 across. We've got every other letter. We must be able to get this. What have we got here? we got Miss Album. A demo I sell. Excitingly covers it. Um, what is this? So where do you think the definition is here? Um, oh, this is a hidden word. This is a lovely clue. Really nice. Look at this. So you, sometimes you get hidden words. They're called lurker, lurkers. So in this case, definition is miss. And what's given away the lurker is that it's covered it. So we're saying these words here, album, a demo, I sell, excitingly. Those one, two, three, four, five, six words contain a hidden word that means miss. And if you look closely here, and I'll do it down here, we get mademoiselle. Very nice. Um, that's a lovely, oh, spell it properly. That's a lovely clue. Really nice. wonder how long it took them to come up with that. That's amazing. Lovely. Okay, 16 across. President Lincoln not drinking with gangster assisting crime. Um, where do you think the clue? Well, I don't think the definition would be President Lincoln. I think it's probably the wordplay. And we see A and E here. So I'm thinking Abe. They're going to have Abe here. So that means the definition is crime or assisting crime. Um, not drinking. That could sometimes mean take the D out of the previous word, but we haven't got a D there. Suppose if you're not drinking your teetotal, your TT. 
This is like a battle. Now, where's the Al? Oh, Al's for gangster, so that's like Al Capone. So, assisting a crime is in a battle. Cool. Very nice. I like in this crossword test, some really lovely clues on it. 17 across. Boring implement everybody picked up. Now here's an example of another type of crypto crossword clue you get, which is a homophone clue. When you see picked up, this is referring to how you hear something. So when you basically is saying that everybody picked up. So when you hear this word, it sounds like a word for everybody. But it actually means boring implement. Now a word for everybody is all. And a boring implement is an all, isn't it? It's spelt with a W. A W L. So we have a homophone clue. Very nice. Okay, we're making great progress today. I'm happy with this. 20 across. Interest Parisian in grand singer called Diana. When you see references to Parisians or French or Spanish or Berliners or Germans, this usually means use the French version of that word. Um, which in this case, I think is Parisian N. So I think the definition here is interest. So we have Parisian N, that could be E-N. And a singer called Diana is Ross, and this looks like Ross here. So we need, and that leaves us with grand, which is in, um, abbreviated to a G, and we get engross, which is interest. The interest something, I suppose, is engross, isn't it? Nice. Okay, we've nearly completed half the crossword from the top to the bottom right. Nice. Um, let's try this one in. Fawns, 21 down. Fawns, oddly, lost south of wooden area. So a bit like what we had before with um, occasionally, when you see oddly, this means take the odd letters of the word. Now, it doesn't mean take the odd letters of fawns, which it would be F, W, and S. Or does it mean take the odd letters of lost, which would be L and S. Um, these ones, it's saying that they're south of wooded area. So, because this is an up, like a down clue, when you're referring to north or south, that basically means above or below. So, in that case, I think it's oddly lost. So it's LS, and that is south of a word for a wooded area. Word for So let's say we have LS here. So the whole thing means fawns. What are fawns? Fawns are baby deers. Um, I suppose you can also fawn over something, can't you, Safi? So wooded area is a glade or a grove. If you're from Derry, you know, like oak grove. That's what Derry means in Irish. So I think this is grove because the fawn is to grovel and we get grovels. So you see, so the definition, let's look at this again. The definition was at the beginning and then we have the wordplay. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully you're enjoying this. If you are, please do give it a like and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe, please. <laughs> I'd really like to try and grow the channel more as well. It's a young channel so far. It's been uh, despite my age, um, but it's it's growing nicely, and I'd like to keep that going. So, if you are enjoying it, please do like and subscribe. That would be great. Um, right, where will we go next? Let's try twenty-seven across. Swimmer about ninety is to show great skill. Now, this is another example of a very common usage in a cryptic crossword clue. When you see a number. Start thinking about Roman numerals because it's usually the crosser said he uses them in order to you know get letters here and there. So 90 in a row in Roman numerals is uh XC and a swimmer is especially in Telegraph. I know I've seen so when they talk about swimmer, they always it nearly always means an eel. So we're having if this is that means this would be the wordplay here swimmer about 90. So if we put eel around XC, we get Excel. 
And that gives us the definition, which is to show great skill. Excel. Very nice. All right, 24 down. Italian novelist penning hard copy. So here's an example. Very nice. Here's an example of the compiler using the sense of the sentence to try and throw you off. So Italian novel penning hard, Italian novelist penning hard copy. When you see that, you're thinking penning as in writing. But think of another way of penning because it, this is a wordplay indicator. It's one of those ing words again. If something's penning something, what's it doing? It's you know, enclosing it, isn't it? So we have either Italian novice around hard, which is very often um, abbreviated to an H. And the whole thing means copy. Italian novice, I can think of a little bit bigger, three letter. This must be echo with the H gives us echo, which is a copy, I suppose. Right. We're doing well. So we haven't, haven't really got stuck in any clue yet, which is amazing. If you watched yesterday's video, I got stuck forever at the end. So hopefully it's not going to happen this time. Um, 25 down. Antelope hasn't finished dash. So does this mean antelope or does it mean dash? I think it means dash because it's saying antelope hasn't finished. I reckon this means we have a word for an antelope and we're removing the last letter and the whole thing will mean dash. And I haven't opened my mouth about not getting stuck yet. I haven't got a clue. My antelope knowledge is not amazing. How's yours? Um... Not sure. Let's come back. Let's come back to that one. So where do we go next then? Where do you fancy going? Um, let's try 20, 14 across. Put down iron again. So there's not really a major wordplay indication on here. So it's probably like a charade or double definition. When I see iron, I like to think of as press and again do it again so we could be repress I think this is repress because to repress is to put down as well a nice little double definition there cool right we're back on the back in the solving front again um let's try we've got 15 down here let's try dripping is a kind of fat um this looks like another double definition, doesn't it? Of dripping is a kind of fat. I think this is saturated. Something's dripping, it's saturated. And a kind of fat, the one you're not allowed to eat apparently. Although apparently you are now, I'm not sure. It keeps changing that advice. Saturated is a kind of fat. So that's a double definition there. So there's no word play there. It's basically saying dripping is one definition and a kind of fat is another one. And it is, it's just a link between them. See that? So there's no real indicators of major wordplay there, which is why you immediately start thinking of either a cryptic definition as in the whole sentence means something or it's a double definition. Cool. Um, well, we go, well, let's try 29 across. We've got a few letters there. Put on casual clothes and wig. I think it's... Put on casual clothes and wig. I think this is another double definition. I don't see any major um, wordplay here or there. I think and is a link. Put on casual clothes. It would be to dress down. I suppose to wig someone is also to give them a dressing down, isn't it? We used to get wigged at school. Well, that was like, we used to call it when people lifted you up uh, here. I don't know. Is that a dressing down? Yeah. Cool. Like that. Um, 23 down. Thanks that chap gathered round Lake in America. Um, what's happening here? Well, funnily enough, I recorded a short 
earlier today that's coming out tomorrow, all about the letter O in cryptic crosswords. So there are many ways of referring to an O in a cryptic crossword, and I think we have might have one here, which is round. When you see round or nothing or egg or um, hoop or something like that, it's, especially when referring to the shape, it can be it can be an O. But when we have gathering here as well, so that's our indicator of something. So I think thanks to that chap is gathering an O, and we're getting a lake in America. That's what I think the definition is here, lake in America. So a short synonym for thanks is ta. And that chap is quite often he. And we put that around O. We get Lake Tahoe. You see that? So um, look out for the short. Um, what day is it? This is Thursday. It's coming out tomorrow. Friday. Yeah, so it's probably out already that this video is out, but that short's probably come out this, earlier on today, I would say. Um, right, will we try 26 across or let's try 26 across. Husband has whiskey after work. It's child's play. So in this one, husband is often abbreviated to NH. So I think the, and we have, you know, words indicating something coming after something. So I think, I think we have the word play here and the whole thing is child's play. Um, that's nine letters. So that means husband will be the beginning. And then work is often abbreviated to OP. So it has whiskey after work. So I think this is hop. And this must be scotch, right? So we got the whiskey after op. And husband has them. And it's child's play. It's definitely a child's game. Hopscotch. Haven't done that in a while. Nice. Right, will we try 22 across? Pondering, case for discharge and release. So pondering, case for discharge and release. What do you think is happening here? I'm looking for like, the wordplay. Cases giving me wordplay vibes and that, you know, a case for discharge could be seen as being the D and the E. So I think the definition here may be pondering. And then we put the D and E from case for discharge. I'll do it here. And then a word for, liber a lib a word for, for discharge and then a word for release, which I think is I think it's pondering. I think it's a deliberation. So we got the release. A release is a liberation, isn't it? And we got the DE, so that gives it deliberation, which is a pondering. Would be like pondering as in the noun, a pondering. Like the gerund, is it? The gerund or gerund? I can't, I never knew how to pronounce that. Cool, that's quite nice. Let's try 19 down. Polish or Polish is Polish stars point of no return. Do we read it as Polish or Polish, do you think? I mean, they're trying to force us to read it as Polish, which makes me think it's Polish. So I think this is probably the wordplay. Polish star, and then we have a link here, which is the apostrophe S. And the whole thing means point of no return. Point of no return, I think it's a Rubicon, isn't it? So that would be rub icon. So polish is to rub, star is an icon. Rubicon is a point of no return. Nice, you didn't get me that time with your Polish and Polish crafty compilers there. Let's try... 18 across. Um, extract Republican found in Stade Bar. So Republicans very often, um, you know, abbreviated to an R. And if you look at the, what's been said here, that's found inside Bar. So I think this is the wordplay. 
or inside a word for bar, and the whole thing means extract or extract. We love uh, mixing up words with that can be seen as verbs or nouns. Um, here we here we have the R as well from Republican. So the R. And let's see if it's extract an excerpt. Is it? So we have bar is except. You know, all bar one, everything except one, and the R gives us except. Yeah, nice. So you can see that extract is an actually an, is not extract but extract. Cool. Right, we've got a lot of letters here for these two now. We should be should be playing sailing from here. Hopefully, camaraderie. Working day finishes with it. Um, so what do you think the word play is here? I think. I think this means camaraderie. And this is the wordplay. Working day finishes with it. Um, look at that word. Let's see if I can make a word out of it. Camaraderie could be friendship, couldn't it? Friendship. So we got, um, let's look at the wordplay. Working day, Friday, Friday. Finishes, ends, with it, hip. Oh, with it. If you're hip, you're with it. I'm certainly not. So Friday, ends, hip. Friendship. So that's a charade clue. Basically, so you got the definition, and then you make it from the parts of the clue. There's no manipulation being done there. Very nice. Um, let's try 13 down. Foolishly, oh, anagram indicator, a cop plays with drug leading to disaster. So, you know, foolishly is one of those anagram indicators you see straight away. So it's probably an anagram of a cop plays. How many letters are we looking for? 10. One cop plays has got one, two, three, four, nine letters. So we need to add a drug. If we see drug is very often abbreviated to an E. And that's leading to disaster. So it means, means a disaster. And you can look at those letters. But there's only one disaster I can think of. And it's apocalypse. Yeah, so we have the anagram of a cop plays. And then the E on the end for, um, for the drug. Giving us a disaster. Which today's crossword is not... I'd have to say, so far, so good. Just go back to that one in a sec. Let's try 28 across. Section of prenup re-energized groom. Um, I think this is a hidden word. Section of. So the whole thing will mean groom. So inside prenup energized, there's a hidden word. I mean groom. Can you see it? Well, we have P-E in the end here already, so you know you start here, and you get Pring. Nice. Okay, straightforward so far, I think. Lots of nice different clues. There's some lovely clues in this one. Um, Let's go back to Antelope now. Antelope hasn't finished Dash. Based on what we got, I think this is Elan. Definitely means dash. Is there an antelope with... Oh, there must be. Yes. Um, is there an antelope? There must be an antelope. Begins with five with five or six... I don't know, five letters maybe? Beginning with Elan. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go and look it up. That's the thing about these cryptic crosswords. You, every day you come across another word you don't know and then you make a point of looking it up and... Then you remember for the next time. So we got to the end there. Hopefully you find that useful, interesting, enjoyable. Um, I say I certainly enjoy doing them. Um, and if you'd like to see me do anything else with these videos, then let me know, please. If you got to the end, amazing, well done you. 
for getting to the end and thanks for stick, sticking with me. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please, please do. It would be great to have you on board. Um, just what I'm have you here now, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a, a crossword, like, like what I've done here, um, but doing it with a person, like another person maybe who's new to cryptics and wants to learn a bit more. Um, so my, my idea was to have like maybe a Zoom call or something, some sort of video call with um, this person and then share my screen and we'll have the crossword there and they they try and solve it and I st- I'll, I'll jump in and help them or talk them through the clues and then they solve it themselves. So I'm thinking of doing that as a video. So I think it might, you know, that, that two-way interaction might help a little bit. People understand what's going on and I'll obviously describe things in a different way. So that's a, um, a potential idea I have for a video. So if you think that would be a good idea, let me know. Um, if you'd be interested in being that person, then let me know as well. So that could be fun. Um, we could record that someday. If you don't mind being on, you know, having your face showing and all that. Um, but let me know anyway. But in the meantime, I can say that'll be me now until this will come out on Friday. Um, I'm not sure if I'll post anything on Saturday, maybe a short, but then on Sunday we have the live at eight o'clock. Um, where I will do probably Friday's um, cryptic like I did last week Um, or maybe the Sunday one I don't know I'll decide at the time but let's see where we get you from there but look it was great to have you aboard again thanks for for watching and uh, I will see you next time okay thanks bye bye